Ah, uh, you're watching Kolsky Drones. Today we're going to do a quick comparison between the SG900S and the Vizio XS812. Hi, uh, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today I want to do a little quick video and I want to compare, because I've been asked this a few times, the SG900S against the Vizio XS812. So at the end of the video I want to put some flight footage with some picture in picture and I'll label which is the video from each one so you can make your own judgement on the cameras. So let's start with the with the things that I like about this. So this is a 2S battery so there is more power than this. Definitely more power. Stability wise I think the Vizio is just as stable but this has more power. Now because of that it also has much less battery time. This, it quotes 10 minutes I'm getting between 8 and 9. I've never once got the 10 minutes, but having said that, it's not the middle of summer anymore and it's not perfectly calm days. This feels a bit more agile to fly and it's definitely a bit quicker than this one. This one has only a 1S battery, but it's just as stable in the air. It is slightly slower, but I'm getting the advertised 14 minutes. Well, I'm getting 13 minutes and I've stopped at that and I haven't took the battery right down, but it's only 1S. So, battery wise, that one would win. If, you, if you're after time and that's what you're after, how long you can spend in the air, then this one is probably the one for you. But if you want more power and a bit faster, this is probably the one for you. It's difficult, I can't make my mind up which one I prefer to be honest, that's why I'm doing this video, so you can get a compared judgement. Controller wise, so this is the controller for the 900S. This has rechargeable batteries which is a massive plus to me, plus the fact I love this controller. This controller feels superb in my hands, absolutely brilliant, I love flying with it, the form factor is fantastic, it holds your phone absolutely superbly, and these are stands. Well, some, so I believe they are, I didn't tell you anywhere, but I use them as stands because the antennas are in there, that's for definite. I think the antennas may be in the bottom of this bit that's screwed together here. I'm not sure, I haven't had it in bits. And the Vizio, Okay, so it holds your phone, but it maxes out quite early, so you can't get anything really big in there. And if you've got a curved back on your phone, it won't hold it very well. It tries to pop it out at the back. The controller doesn't feel as nice on the sticks as this one to me. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice controller. The form factor on this one's good again because it feels like a full-size controller in your hands. And I like the buttons on this setup. The buttons feel nice to me on this. And I like the overall form factor. But comparing transmitters, I would pick that one all day long. Picture quality, you're going to make up your own mind for. I don't think they're that much different, to be honest with you. I haven't been able to fly it again since the other day because the wind's horrendous here. So I'm going to post some videos up. And you'll have to remember that this one was done in a bit of wind. And this one was only done in 5 miles an hour. And this one was probably peaking at 20. So that's what you're going to have to remember. So don't look at the fact that it's mo the movement. Look at the clarity. That's all you need to look at if you want to compare cameras on these. Clarity is what's important. You're never going to stop this rocking. And you're never going to stop the fact that the, the picture won't be perfectly steady. It's never going to be because it's not got a stabilised gimbal. And we're all the best will in the world. GPS can't make it stay exactly in one spot and not move. Even DJI's move slightly in the sky. The gimbals take it out. These, again, same thing. So when you compare video footage, remember to compare the sharpness, not the amount of movement that's in the shot, because you're never going to get them right. I guess, for me, it's down to what you prefer. Do you want something a bit faster and a bit sportier, which is this? Or do you want something with a better flight time, which is this? They fly very, very similar. This might be a little bit smoother than that. I love flying this because you can throw it about more. This thing really does, you can throw this about in the air. I love the controller on this one. And this one, I love the flight time. I love the stability of it. And as I say, the cameras are both. So which one would I buy? I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm not that bothered about having 10 minutes 12, 14, 20 minutes flight time on one of these because I buy these to fly as a drone, not really as a camera drone. So for me, flight time isn't important. So maybe I'd lean towards this one. But for the all round package, I'm guessing people will possibly choose this because of the longer flight time. For beginners, possibly this. 
This is possibly more beginner friendly than this one because this one's got more power. So maybe this one, if you're a beginner, possibly this one. If you're looking for your second, third drone, then I'd choose that one. But again, completely my opinion, no one else's. Everybody can make their own minds up. I wanted to do this video so you could get a rough kind of idea with them side by side. Size wise, they're identical. So you put them on top of each other and they're exactly the same size. Styling wise, just get both in my hand. As you can see, again, very similar. Very, very similar indeed. The main difference is the body of this thing is slightly different. The apps are identical, they call them different, but they're identical apps. And this one's slightly, or it's, no, it's exactly the same size on the body. I thought it was slightly shorter, but it isn't. It's exactly the same size. Now, the one thing that I would say about this one is I had a massive problem getting my SD card in, if you remember when you watched the video. Let's just pop the battery out. It's just tight to go in here, to be honest. So remember, I had to chop out this bit of plastic because the card holder was too low down, so I could never get to it. So that's one thing you might need to... Other people have reviewed this and they haven't mentioned that, so I'm guessing I was just unlucky with mine. This is only an 1100 milliamp hour battery as well. But like I keep saying, it is a 2S battery. So you're going to get more power. And this one, I really do like the camera setup. So this one slots off, your SD card goes in there, they in a minute. They both move by hand. Both very similar that way, but I do like this setup on this camera, the way it works. You've got to pop it off to get the SD card out, but you've got to take the battery out of that to do it, so it doesn't really matter. And of course this one runs on the 1S battery, which is an 1800 milliamp hour, which is giving it the longer flight time. And of course, being 1S. Both brush, brushed motors. Neither of these have got brushless motors. And price point. I paid 74 I think, I can't remember, 74 I think for this and I think I paid 77 for this. They're virtually the same price but this might be more now because when I ordered it, I ordered it on one of them pre-orders because it wasn't out yet and a, a similar thing with this, I ordered this on pre-order. I checked this today and that hasn't gone up in price. So, like I said, it's down to you. Enjoy the footage that's coming up and then maybe by the end of the video you can make your own mind up. Thanks ever so much for watching, thanks ever so much for subscribing, your support's immense and have a fantastic day. So this is the flight footage from both drones. So as you can see, it's picture in picture. I will swap them around so the main picture becomes the SG900 or the Vizio and the little picture vice versa. But as you can see, there isn't too much difference in the camera. You've got to remember that at this point, the Vizio was flying in nearly 20 mile an hour winds and it was only 6 miles an hour for the SG900S. Thanks very much for watching this video, hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.